David Bittner has spent the last seven years learning how to live among wild brown bears. I've just arrived in Alaska and still need some time to adjust. Even though I spent six months living around bears when I filmed Charlie Vandergar, it doesn't really prepare you for being right out in the middle of the wild with no wooden cabin to hide behind. Just a bit of canvas and a thin electric fence and lots of grizzly bears around every corner. I know. I'll let them know I'm English and uh, maybe they'll leave me alone. Hello, bear. Coming, bear. Nothing to worry about. I'm convinced the bears can smell my fear. They're constantly circling our camp. And it won't be long before I'm forced to meet one close up. David wants to introduce me to a large male. He's named Chappie. I suppose you have to be careful about the sun out here, David. You know, my skin is not uh, very used to the being out uh, that much, and um, so I definitely put on some sunscreen. By the way, I advise you not to put on any uh, insect repellent. The best thing what I do is just to get yourself bitten the first time, and then your body can build up its own um, immune reaction. So this is usually a very good, very smart thing to do. You're the biologist, I'll trust you. As we go in search of Chappie, I realize that I've placed my life in the hands of someone I've only just met. Let's go and check, the, check it out. And it's not long before David does something that leaves me wondering if this was such a good idea. He climbs into the bear's daybed. Wow, it's huge. Well, and I can smell bear. What have I let myself in for? It looks really comfortable for him. I can well imagine him lying in this den and... Would he be able to smell that you've been up there? Possibly, so I better get out before he uh, returns. I presume is Chappie. He's huge. I think I got out there right on time. There's Chappie. It looks as if he's going right back to his day bed. Let's see if he can uh, smell my presence. He's definitely having a sniff. Oh, he doesn't seem too bothered. I'm happy that uh, it doesn't bother at all that I've been up there. Chappie returns and <laughs> having another nap. David may have given Chappie a rather strange name, but for a 500 kilo bear, I would argue that his eating habits are even more unusual. What's he doing, David? It's really funny, he catches these small fish about this size. And even though the creek is full of uh, nice, big, thick uh, salmon, he prefers to dig for these small fish at low tide. And he's also extremely fussy when it comes to salmon. Good stuff, Jappy. Well done. Chappie just caught this uh, big fish. It's a chum salmon, and it's really amazing that uh, the bears get really picky, so look at its head. I mean, the bear just picked out its brain, so uh, one small piece, and he leaves the hole of the fish. The fish is still alive, as you can see, wiggling its uh, tail. Obviously, Chappie really likes to eat the brain, so that's nature. 